Welcome back to my channel everybody. I recently decided to build up a NAS system. So I was in need of some new storage. If you're in need of extended storage and you get into hard drives, you quickly find out that storage can be very, very pricey. Especially if you want to build up a NAS with high storage capacity, you will come across a topic of shucking drives. It basically just means buying an external hard drive and then removing this casing to just get the naked hard drive itself to use in your computer or your NAS system. And why would you do that? Well, more often than not, hard drive manufacturers like Western Digital sell actually decent hard drives in their external hard drives that would be more expensive if you just buy the hard drive itself. Now I recently bought two of this 8 terabyte Western Digital My Books and to my surprise I received two different packages. This one in the green packaging I already shucked a couple of days ago so if we have a look inside as you can see the case is fully intact without any damages. So you can easily put it back together, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm also curious if this orange one, which I received today, is gonna to have the same internal hard drive in there as I had in the green one. This is of September 2020, ordered from German Amazon. So all you really need for this chucking process is some kind of old credit card that you can destroy. Also guitar picks work as well. One Phillips head screwdriver, a little clamp tool, like a, I have a little multi-tool here that will do and potentially some scissors. All right, so let's just get going, grab our unopened box here of the new orange one and just open the box up like you would normally do. Here's my favorite part. You could actually even leave the plastic on, but we don't need that. All right, this is what the drive looks like. And we don't want this side, the long side. We want this side with the slightly smaller grill, as you can see here. So now it's time to grab your spare credit card and cut that in four pieces, like so. I'm not doing this because I already have one here. We got four little pieces. And just grab your first plastic piece. You can also, as I mentioned before, use a guitar pick. And what you wanna do really is you just wanna separate in between this line here. So just grab one of your plastic pieces and jam that in here. The first one, yeah, super easy. You can hear some plastic clamps separating. Take the second one, do the same thing on the same side. That should be plenty good like this. Now we flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. You can hear it unlock. And the last one in there. And it should look something like that. And all you need to do now is just Put both of your thumbs on that thing, hold the case, and push downwards. And there you have it. Don't need these anymore. Nothing's broken. This thing is still good. And I can already see it's a WD80EZAZ. So that should be the good version, but more about that later. We still need to remove it from this plastic bracket. And if you look at it like this, there's one side where these connectors are and there's a little bit of a bigger gap than on the left side. But this is the side you wanna bend outwards because the hard drive is held with these rubber things and you just need to bend it a little bit so it plops out. There are no screws in there. It should just work like this. Boop, and once one side is out, comes out the other side. I'm already dropping these rubber things, here's one. Here's another one. We don't need them anymore, so take those off. Now there's still this SATA connector on it, which is only necessary for an external hard drive. So this is the only one screw right here where we need our Phillips head screwdriver and just unscrew this one. And once that is done, this thing should just come off to the front, just like that. Also, nothing's broken. You can easily put that back on if you wanna send your hard drive back or whatever. Now, we still have these connectors, these metal things on the outside, which we also don't need if we use it in a NAS. And I just grab my, my clamp tool, grab it here and turn around a little bit, do that with every one. And then you can just remove them by hand. And there we have it, one naked Western Digital WD80EZAZ, 8TB hard drive ready to go into your NAS or your computer or anywhere. 
And there you have it, it's that easy to go from this to this and get some cheaper storage. And the idea behind this is that these Western Digital drives are actually red drives just with a white label attached on it. And if you just buy a red drive by itself, it will be way more expensive. These eight terabyte ones, I got two of these lately. They run me around 139 euros at this moment in September, 2020. But here's the interesting thing. The one we just chucked, the orange box, it turned out to be a WD80EZAZ. However, the one I shucked a couple days ago, I think I bought this like two weeks ago in August 2020, also from Amazon, the same item. It came in a green box and it turned out to be the WD80EDAZ. And as far as I know, I think that's an air filled one with potentially the SMR technology. So I bought both of these in a very small time frame from the same seller, same item. And it seemed to be that it's a little bit of a lottery on which hard drive you will receive. If you did the same thing, please let me know in the comments down below which hard drive you shucked and let me know which one was in there. Also, let me know about bigger versions, 10, 12, 14 terabyte. That's also interesting to know. And unfortunately, the manufacturers like Western Digital are very intransparent on which hard drive they put into their external ones. So it's a bit of a gamble. That's why we as a community need to have some kind of database to let people know what is most likely to be in those at the moment so let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of video give it a thumbs up and i hope i could help some people out there thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye